Hello students, myself, Assistant Professor Nikhil Bosle from Computer Science AML Department, KIT College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Today we are looking with the course of Computer Organization and Digital Logic. We are looking with the Unit 1 8085 and the Lesson 5 of it is Logical Transfer Instruction. Here we will be understanding how to uh, transfer the data from microprocessor to memory and even from memory to the microprocessor using logical transfer instruction. So in the last lecture we had seen about the data transfer instructions, uh, some of the data transfer instructions like MVI Alexa. Uh, at this lecture we will be looking up with the logical transfer instructions. The first logical transfer instruction we will be looking is ANA R and ANA M. As we had seen through the last lecture, the R represents the register and the M represents the memory location pointer. Memory location pointer is represented by the HL register. Whatever the value of the HL register that represents the memory, uh, represents the memory location and from that memory location either we were transferring the content from the microprocessor to the memory or from the memory to the microprocessor. Here in uh, the ANA, the first instruction is to add the content of the register with the accumulator and store the value in the accumulator. That is the content of accumulator is added with the content of the register and the value is stored in the accumulator. Okay, so if we specify NAM, that means the memory location pointer content will be added with the content of the accumulator and that result is stored in the accumulator. Here the flag register is modified. Some of the flag register bits like SZP are modified through this operation. CY as a carry is reset and the auxiliary carry is made as set. Some of the example described here is ANAB and ANAM. The next instruction we will be looking is ANI. Here the immediate value content is added with the accumulator and the result is stored in accumulator. Here for example, if I place the value as ANI 43H, that means the value 43 will be added with the content that is present in the accumulator and the result is stored in accumulator. Here again, the S, Z and P bits of the flag register is modified and the CY is reset and auxiliary carry is set. The next example is ORA. ORA similar as that of ANA where we were adding the contents either of the register, memory location or immediate value with the accumulator and storing the result in accumulator. Here in the ORA means to ORing the contents of the accumulator with the register and storing the value in the accumulator. Accumulator with the memory location pointer content represented by the HL register and that value is stored in the accumulator. Okay, so uh, again uh, the SZP par P bits of the flag register is modified. CY and auxiliary carry is reset and the example is either ORA we can represent any of the register from BC, DE or HL and uh, ORAM where the memory location pointer content is ORed with accumulator and stored in accumulator. The next instruction is ORI which is ORing the immediate value content with the accumulator and so, uh, store the value in the accumulator. Here again SZP are modified through this operation. O carry and auxiliary carry is reset. Okay, The example is like ORI86H. The next one again is XORing the content of either the register or memory, memory location pointer content and that value is stored in the accumulator. Similarly, as that of XRA, we are having another instruction as XRI, where we are 
XORing the immediate value contained with the accumulator and storing the value in the accumulator that is here XRI okay XORing the immediate value content of the uh, with the accumulator and storing that value in the accumulator okay similarly here also as that P uh, the bits of the flags are modified carry that is CY and auxiliary carry is reset so this is about uh, uh, the lesson of the logical transfer uh, instruction okay basically in this we have seen about the OR operation XOR operation and AND operation the OR operation is represented as ORA ORI XOR operation is represented as XRA and XRI and operation is represented as A N A N A N I. Here in ORA, we are either representing the register or memory location pointer, and here in ORI, we are representing the 8 bit value, which is represented in the hexadecimal format that will be 70H or FFH. Similar operation of that of ORA is represented in XR in XR operation and even in AND operation. And here we have seen either the uh, content of S, Z and P are modified on all these three operations. Auxiliary carry and CY is reset or made to zero. We will be looking about the logical transfer instruction, remaining logical transfer instruction in the next lesson. Thank you.